I grew up in a small town in New Zealand. We lived right next to the forest and I spent a lot of time as a child there just playing around, looking at the plants, having a play with the insects and other animals that I found. And I really have always just wanted to understand all those different strategies that the plants and animals are using. So I started out thinking that I wanted to uh, be into zoology and study animals and be like David Attenborough out on a savanna with the big mammals and stuff. But as I went along, I really realised it was the plants that I had a passion for. It turns out we know remarkably little about global scale patterns in almost anything. We don't know anything about the latitudinal gradient in plant height and leaf size, in how much the plants get their leaves eaten by things. So I decided to look at global patterns in how plants were making their seeds. And I got together data for about 12,000 species from all around the world. And what I found was that plants at the equator were making seeds that were on average about 300 times bigger than plants growing in cold places like Stockholm. Because really, we need to find out things about these global patterns in how plants sort of grow and reproduce. So for instance, if Sydney was to dry out, then we'd be much more vulnerable to bushfires here. And if you take our forests and you start burning them, you know, once every couple of years sort of thing, then pretty soon the plants here can't cope with that much fire and you'd actually switch to more of a savanna type ecosystem like you see up in uh, Townsville or Darwin, which will be a dramatic change for life around Sydney. So the L'Oreal Fellowship is going to allow me to bring some new people into my lab and really help me establish my research here at the University of New South Wales. I think the big challenge for ecology is to really take the detailed information that we have at the small scale at the moment and put that all together into the big picture to really have a look at how our ecosystems work and really be able to build models that allow us to predict what's going to happen into the future.